We've got breaking news to talk about. Okay. So pick six number five. I love it. Is the breaking news. The Colts have a new starting quarterback, and he was their old starting quarterback who was the new starting quarterback, hopefully, of the future. Anthony Richardson, Shane Steichen said in a press conference that he will be the starter once again. Your instant reaction to Anthony Richardson back in the saddle for the Colts. Wow, and what changed, hmm. right? Now, I'm not saying this isn't the, the, the wrong decision, or I'm not saying this isn't the right decision, I should say, right? I, I think that ultimately this is probably the best thing for everybody going forward. Where I am surprised and a little bit of what I told you on Sunday night and what I do have knowledge through through people in the NFL is that, yes, the Anthony Richards thing, Anthony Richards, Richardson benching was more than just him taking himself out in a football game against the Houston Texans. That was a like a microcosm of the bigger problem and that they weren't happy with preparation and being the total professional detailed guy you want at the quarterback position, right? Mm -hmm. So there was a little bit of a part of this is like yeah, you're being benched and you know, we want to see you improve some of these things before we make you the starter once again. Right, and I think that's again too, and I think as an organization or a coaching staff and everybody, they that's why you heard Shane Sykin after the game this week go, no, Joe Flacco's our starter because I think they have made a determination of like we're gonna wait a little bit before we throw Anthony Richardson back down. Right. So obviously, my what well, my first gut instinct is that big time conversations went down yesterday on Tuesday, Players Day off, where owner, GM, head coach, they got in and they said, wait, okay, we know he's got to be better at these type of things and let's continue to work on this, but let's not cut off our nose to spite our face here. We've lost three in a row. We've lost two in a row with Joe Flacco. The offense, you could argue, didn't look you know, very good or maybe not even as good with Anthony Richardson in it. Why not just go back to him and let him play like we talked about with Caleb Williams and let him take his lumps and go through the bumps and bruises and play that way? And again, where did we think the Colts were going this year anyways. Right. Right? You know, they, they gave Joe a, a chance because, hey, it wasn't good, and they went, wait, we're still in the playoff race, and I think now they're going, wait, we're four and six. Like, it's going to be a miracle if we go to the playoffs. We have to basically run the table, or we, have, we can only lose a game or two. But big picture-wise, they need to get Anthony Richardson back on the football field, and they'll work with him on some of that professional detail stuff as we go along here. Yeah, and he was asked in the press conference yeah. if he had conversations with the team owner and Jim Irsay or the GM and Chris Ballard. He goes, I talked to Jim. I talked to Chris, but ultimately the decision was mine. So uh, okay. it was my decision. So right. I mean, which makes sense, yeah. right? I mean, so, it is, so it, they it talked about it, and he went and back to it, and he's going, "Wait, if I'm trying to build something here for the future and all that, it's not going to be around Joe Flacco." I tried to salvage the season a little bit for two weeks there. Flacco didn't do great against the Vikings or the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, right. So let's throw out the guy who we've invested in and we think is the future, and let's see if we can work with him. It's not about this year. It's only about this year just to get him better. For next year. Next year's the year where hopefully if you're Indianapolis, you can cash the chips in a little bit to go, ooh, we spent a little money on this free agent guy on the offense to make the offense more explosive. Ooh, another guy on defense. And our quarterback's ready now, and we're dangerous. And they're not there yet this year. So play with your guy, and we talked about it. The number one issue with Anthony Richardson was lack of reps, lack of playing time, yeah. and he needs to play more for a myriad of reasons, and I do think this is the right decision. And it is tough if you're telling yeah. your, your still young quarterback, hey, sit, watch that guy out there and what he does, and it's like, pick pick interception <laughs> right dumb with the ball well, you're like, well, I don't, you he, don't watch him anymore well, stop watching him i think there's there's part of that and i think more of it is watch what he doesn't does in between sundays sure. that's the big thing and i think that's what was rubbing people the wrong way in the colts organization mm. you know again i don't know all the details but it sounds like maybe late to meetings late to rehab, stuff like that was going on just a little too much. And again, this is not a bad guy. Yeah. Not at all, anything like that, but just not being the leader and the quarterback that he needs to be. And, and sometimes when you're young, you don't even know that. Sure. you got to have people show you that way a little bit, and hopefully he's learning that from Joe Flacco. Know how important it is, the right. standard that you need to set. Yes. And he's learning that as we go. So that uh, that is happening for the Colts. They take on the Jets this week, who have problems of their own, by the way. Yo, yo, homies, thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah, it's time. The NFL season is here on Chris Sims Unbuttoned. You can hit subscribe to get all the weekly picks, plus our Sunday recaps as the games are happening. Oh, you know it. Nobody does that better than us. Thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe. Peace out. We'll see you next time on Unbuttoned.